Good for her. So to South Africa, which is mm. such a depressing story that it's, it's almost hard to bring mm. up. But ba here, the bottom line is, for decades, the left of the United States was against apartheid. And good for them. I mean, it's worth being against right. that. But they also were champions of the ANC, the African National Congress, which has been in power ever since, 94. And they basically destroyed the country. And now they're attempting to turn it into Zimbabwe by crushing the minority in that country. So, okay, they're doing that. Why are we subsidizing it with U.S. taxpayer dollars? Yeah, you, you've got a point there, Tucker. But just on that, the, the left was right to be against apartheid. They were in South Africa. Uh, just for the record, I regard what Chuck Schumer is doing, rejecting Trump judicial nominees on the I basis agree. of race, as progressive neo-apartheid. And I don't like old school apartheid or the new school Democrat Party apartheid. Um, what's happening in South Africa? In, in 1980, Robert Mugabe was told, you don't have to make the same mistakes as the first generation of independent African nations like Tanzania and Ghana 15 years earlier. He went ahead and made them uh, supersized, uh, especially with regard to white farmers. Fifteen years later, uh, the ANC was told, you don't have to make the same mistakes that Robert Mugabe made in Zimbabwe. Uh, now they're actually doing it all over again, with the difference being this. Uh, South Africa is the economic anchor of that continent, yeah. uh, and it has existed with one foot in the developed and one foot in the developing camps since the corrupt ANC took over a couple of decades ago. If, the, if they actually turn South Africa into a, an economic basket case like Zimbabwe, uh, that has huge consequences, including the fact that millions and millions of people will be sent scurrying uh, over the Mediterranean uh, into Europe. No, and it's totally the State true. Department, yeah, and the State Department should not be subsidizing that. I agree. And liberals pretend it's not happening, which is actually patronizing. Mm. Why, why are liberals giving cover to one of the most corrupt regimes in the world? I've never understood that. I don't understand them. Mark well, Stein. It, it's, it's virtue signaling. Well, that's exactly. You're right. I guess I do, I guess I do understand. <laughs> Such a good yeah, point. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It, it, the fact that they're miserable makes no difference. Miserable no. lives, lives ruined, people murdered. Exactly. The great Mark Stein. Thank you, Mark. So